Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. A good Saturday morning. Welcome to all you good folks in Brownsville, Tennessee on 1520 AM and 95.3 FM. And, of course, the News Talk 101.5 in Jackson, Tennessee. And, of course, right here in Memphis on ESPN AM 790 and 92.9 HD FM. Outdoors with Larry Ray as we head toward August in our 20th anniversary. Uh, it's good on the second Saturday to have uh, John Gordon of Ducks Unlimited and Ron Wong of Ron Wong Incorporated. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, John. That's a beautiful day in the you, neighborhood. Yeah, John, I need to let you just introduce Ron sometime, okay? So uh, I should, I should. You I, should. I yeah. Stuff with Ron. Yeah, he's go- you are going to take him duck hunting this year, I know. So um, so he can cook <laughs> over in the corner of your duck blind. And I'll, exactly. I'll, I'll take pictures. Hey, uh, Ron, as usual, sets us some neat guests on Outdoors with Larry Ray during his segments. And uh, this next uh, man is, uh, has got a really, uh, what I think is, if you look it up and look on his website, uh, I Hole Jigs. And as I told Ron, this is not to be confused with uh, Hi Ho, Hi Ho, It's Down the Road You Go. <laughs> that might be Blake Phillips' new theme song if he wanted to use that and turn it around. But we've got Blake Phillips from I Hole Jigs. In Dothan, Alabama, on with us this morning. Good morning, Blake. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are y'all? We're doing great. Uh, let's talk. Ron has uh, told me a lot of things. I've been on the website. Pretty cool invention. Talk about how this thing developed with you and your wife, Reese. Well, Reese and I, we started, uh, I told her we wanted to do these crappie tournaments, and uh, we figured out we could catch more fish. We were trolling. And then uh, we catch more fish. We put these little uh, crappy nibbles or slab bites, these little paste things yes. on the hook. Yes, yeah. But uh, they would fall off, you know. She'd cast it off. It wouldn't stay on. We'd I'm, put them on the deck. To, I'm with you. <laughs> to make them harden up a little bit so they stay on. But uh, she just got frustrated with it and um, didn't want to use them anymore. And I was just trying to make her happy. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> You know, it's all her fault, you know, it boils <laughs> down to it, you know. So did this uh, just develop uh, in the last couple of years? Was this something you thought about for uh, several years to uh, talk about the I way? Didn't know, I, didn't, I didn't know what a crappie nibble was three years ago. I had no idea. Amazing. We didn't, we didn't crappie fish. We Amazing. Just, uh, we just took it up. This is, uh, it was just, uh, I was like, wow, you know, I uh-huh. mean, it was just a, like a holy crap moment. That's, okay, yeah, that's a, a lot of us have had those in their lifetimes and everything. But uh, so, do, you, do you, where are they made in Dotham? I mean, what, what's uh, what's the? Uh, well, I couldn't. We couldn't keep up. We we stumbled on it and um, couldn't keep up. That's good. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. So we have a company in in Warsaw, Missouri. That okay. They manufacture them all for us, uh-huh. and then they send them to us. And okay. Me and Reese and a couple others, we hand file them, paint them. You do. Finish them, package them, and ship them from here. This the four of y'all. I mean, just. Uh, are, yes, sir. There's uh, four of us. Yes, sir. Are you uh, Are you surprised at the success? And uh, uh, this I is. I had no earthly idea this was <laughs> even possible. Um, I'm flabbergasted, and you know we're just we're blessed. Uh, you know we have. Some, some uh, other companies that mentor us through the stuff. But, yeah. Uh, it's been a challenge to figure it out. I'll tell you that. It has. Now, what about colors and things along that line? Uh, you come in how many well, colors? we have nine colors. You know, we have your basics, your chartreuse, your pinks, and your oranges. And I go into some um, plum pearls and gold flake. And, oh, yeah. Okay, you know, keep we going. Have black and red and all <laughs> okay, that. Okay, keep going with those things. and uh, <laughs> But they're basically. Hey, Blake. Yeah. Hey, hey Ron. Listeners. Just a little bit about the eye hole jig. Um, you know, what does that really say about the jig itself? You know, describe your jig to our yeah. listeners. Well, well, yeah. What we what we did is we could tra- we where the eye goes. We just took the eye out and made a cavity in there to hold the scent pellets in the head itself. <laughs> so it's no longer one sitting them on the deck there's no longer one pellet one fish you're going yeah. to catch 
You're not tip- a dozen or so fish just on one crappie nibble, or flat bite, whatever you use. Yes, I yes. call them all gulps. And you're and not you're not throwing them off because you you've got them. You, you've got no, them stu- they stay on. You can uh, you can shoot docks with them. You can cast them. You can uh, you can catch multiple multiple fish with them. My goodness! So oh. a jar is gonna last you, and you keep them fresh. You don't have to let them sit out. You know, just grab you break it in half, stick it in there. Well, you probably ruined the crappie nibble company. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna <laughs> you're a market gonna, disruptor. <laughs> yes, a market disruptor. Yeah, uh, uh, to see this thing and uh, and the last like that. And so, was this trial and error, Blake? As you worked oh, on yes, this? Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. I made a lot of mistakes. Um, it's been a learning curve. We've just we've just. Uh, we've just got it all kind of figured out, you uh-huh. know, at least what we know now. Yes. Um, you know, we're having to learn how to buy a hundred thousand things and oh 20,000 things of this, 50,000 yes. things of that. Yes. Yeah. That's where the challenge comes in. It's, uh, that's, that's where, uh, that's where it gets a little tricky. And, and of course now you, you're, are you going to tournaments? Like, were you at Kentucky Lake? Is, uh, would you, are you? Yes, sir. To... Yes, sir. Uh, we, uh, we actually got the, uh, second big fish on the eye hole jig in that tournament. Did you really? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, got it on film. It was, uh, the cameraman was on the boat with us. That was cool. That was, a uh, that was really exciting right there. I and, bet it uh, was. We've done real good this season with it. That's almost like well, being yeah. Yeah, there. For those that don't know. Yes. Um, Blake has partnered up with a fellow from Louisiana, John Harrison, who's a we, yeah. really an outstanding crappie fisherman. And right now, I think you guys are in the top three in the angler of the year for American Crappie Trail. Right, Mike? Oh, man, we in second, dude. No, second, we man. With, we we <laughs> tied with Tony and Mike. Uh, there you go. There you go. I looked it up, yeah, and I was, on, get, I was getting ready to jump in on that, because, but I didn't want to upset the American Crappie Trail uh, PR guy down there, you know. But uh, I looked it up, and I said, that looks like they're, you know, they're right up there at the top. So, <laughs> so uh, Oh, yeah, the eye hole jigs have been doing really good there. They, uh, they, uh, they catch those big fish. They uh, – what it does is that that scent chamber it kind of glosses over and forms uh-huh. an eyeball. Okay. And then that scent just kind of seeps down the bait itself. And then you know when they when they nip it, they kind of nip it more towards the head. So you, you catch them short striking fish a lot more. And you if that makes sense. And you've been in crappie fishing. I mean, have you you're uh, have you been fishing for a lot of your life, Blake? Yeah. Oh, no, I've been fishing a whole lot, but not. I just started back. My mamma took me when I was a kid crappie fishing. Really? Oh, no, I tried the bass. I didn't. I, I was too broke to do the bass fishing trails. And then, uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I got in a commercial fish for years and uh, tried the redfish trails and stuff like that. And um, look what's happening. No, we just picked it up about three years ago, That's four amazing. years ago, tops. Well, and and what did and you then, do? What, what did you figure it out? What did you do in real life? What was your occupation? I've been in the restaurant bar business my whole life. That's okay. So you're the common man with a dream. Uh, oh, gosh, yes, sir. Oh, my, this has been my dream my whole life. I've always, always dreamed of inventing something in the fishing industry. And you've done it. It was um, my granddaddy's cousin invented the true turn hook. So Come on, I really? Always, yeah. I, so I wanted, always wanted to do something to change fishing, you know, if that makes sense. Well, you, yeah. uh, I, I'm assuming you're going to get a lot of knocks on your door pretty soon, Blake, and you just retire. You know, I mean. Uh, well, no, I, I don't. Yeah, it's, uh, I think we got a long ways to go for that. Hey, don't you dream, buddy? You dream, and that's what's Mike, it. Yeah. Can you tell? Can you tell our listeners a brand new product you're getting ready Uh-oh. to introduce? Well, yeah, I guess so. Everything's filed. I should get my patent pending number any day now. So I mean, let's hear it. We do. We we have it in a um. We have it on the, on the worm head side. On oh, the you do? Head. Yeah. Yeah, sir. It, it should be released here in the next week or so. Wow. We're uh, finishing all that up. We just finished up the patent paperwork and all that stuff. So it's going to be a new I don't think you guys going to beat us now. 
Wow. Texas riggers. Yeah, Texas riggers. Uh, does does it have the? Oh, it, it's gonna be deadly. It's uh, I've already played with it a little bit, and um, we'll be we'll be ready to release it with some good videos. Wow. Well, we want to stay in touch with you, Blake, for sure. Uh, now, so uh, I got the eye hole jig. Who who came up with the name? Uh, we, we me and Reese, we were playing around <laughs> with it, and um, it was just. We tried one thing. We Googled the name and same thing came up because we uh-huh. didn't want any name infringements or anything like that. And then, um, and then what happened? Yeah, you know, we were replacing the eye hole, so we just said, we'll call the eye hole jig. Amazing. Well, that's the way a lot and of things happen, buddy. I was able buddy. to copyright and trademark all that, so that worked out good. Well, I, I know the folks in Dothan uh, are probably knocking on your door. So how do people get this, as Ron always asks me to tell. So uh, where do they go for information about uh, eye hole jigs? Well, I mean, our website, iholdjig.com. Uh, okay. You know, we have a Facebook page. Um, okay. Go to if that. Your grizzly Jig carries them. Um, Shields Outdoors in Illinois and several local tackle shops if you have a, a crappie lake. Okay. Well, we're we, scattered well, pretty we, much through crappie country. That's crappie country know. where we are right here. And of course, we know the good folks at Grizzly Jigs and all the rest of them. Oh, the Wade's big, been real good to yeah. us. Uh, we appreciate everything Grizzly's done for us. They've, uh, they've been. Uh, very educational. Well, they Blake, helped us quite a bit. They've, uh, that's what I'm saying. This this community, this crappie industry is a really great business to be in, and we're really fortunate to be here. Well, uh, just remember in, in 10 years when I'm an old man in a wheelchair that, that we, we were there when you made your first million, okay? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. Well, we got to take a break. Uh, thank you, Blake Phillips. Again, that's I Hold Jigs. I E Y E. If you can spell I, put it in there and put a hole with it. And that comes out Jigs, okay? Uh, thank you, I'll buddy. Close them up. All right, buddy. Take it easy. We'll, we'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Wright.